Hey everybody, Bill in Virginia, and uh, not uh, too much of an update this week, just a, a few things that I've been working on. I have uh, still been dealing with some uh, back issues, and in a few weeks' time, I'm going to be going in and having some back surgery done, uh, which hopefully will correct that, allow me to be uh, quite a bit more flexible than what I have been of late so that I can uh, get into more mischief out here on the layouts than what I've been able to do for a while. I've actually been getting materials lined up because I'm going to be uh, incapacitated for six to eight weeks is what the doctor is telling me. So I am going to be working on uh, buildings, those over on the HO scale. I'm finally going to get around to doing some stuff with. I can be working over here on uh, the N-scale town of Alta, as long as I feel like standing, which uh, yeah, I hit and miss on that one. Uh, that HO scale engine is not going to be there. I will put that over on the other layout here in the near future. <laughs> one thing that I have been doing this past week, uh, actually a couple of weeks, is I have been making uh, more O-scale trees. Uh, in fact, a lot more O-scale trees. I'm up to almost uh, 100 of them right now. And uh, show you a little bit on what I'm doing over there real quick. So this was uh, one of the first uh, non-twist method pine trees that I put together using uh, furnace filter material, you know, flocking, uh, different things like that. And, yeah, you know, honestly, I don't like it. It was an experiment just to kind of get a feel for what I was doing. Uh, I do like the trunk using the method that I'm doing. Uh, you know, the trunk, the color, the shape, the texture looks really cool on that. It gives a good body to the tree. But that particular uh, tree and style, nah. You know, I, I will try to trim it, make it look a little better, and use it as a background tree. You know, I won't throw it away or anything. But uh, I'll show you what uh, a recent example looks like that I finished up uh, last evening. Well, let's do a little side-by-side -side comparison here of what I've come up with. One on the left, the, uh, one of the original trees using the uh, furnace filter media. One on the right, uh, one of the uh, latest trees. I was working on that one last night. It's uh, part of the next batch of 30 trees that uh, I just produced this past week. I think I've uh, got my technique down reasonably well on this. I uh, figured out how to do nice fine branches, uh, come in, give the foliage some texture. Uh, coloration can vary, you know, depends upon uh, what you want to use for ground cover. But uh, definitely like the uh, trunk detail. You know, I'm able to get it uh, where it tapers a little bit extensively on that particular one, where I'm going from two <laughs> to one of the uh, uh, rustic wires, but uh, hey, you know what? It is what it is. And then uh, going on up to the top. So like I said, I'm, on this one, I'm going to uh, trim it and take some scissors to it and try to give it some shape, kind of thin it up a little bit, make it look decent for a background tree. But, uh, you know, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, these particular trees are about a foot tall. So decent size in O scale, uh, actually even at a foot, uh, you know, for an HO scale logging layout, they would look uh, pretty reasonable. So over here is uh, a batch, my uh, batch of 30 that I just finished up from last week. Uh, tonight I'm gonna actually get started on the, the next batch. Got some uh, big tall ones there, 15 inches tall from base to top. And then a variety of different sizes from uh, six inch, uh, again, all the way up to that 15 inch to give a nice, nice forest look. Got a few trees in here that are, uh, you know, starting to show, uh, uh, you know, pullback, that they're starting to uh, die back, uh, kind of brown colors. I've got a variety of other trees with uh, different shades in here. So when I do end up putting these on a layout, I'm going to have a nice forested look. You know, I've got the bottoms where they're kind of on a similar thing so that, uh, you know, when you're looking into a forest, you're going to see some variation. I'll be able to do some detailed scenes on the, the grounds under these trees. 
but uh, you know what, I'm, I'm happy with the results. I'm also doing a little bit uh, of experimentation for N-scale trees using little bits of uh, mini bamboo skewers, uh, painting those up, uh, again, using furnace filter media to come up with some different shapes uh, to kind of uh, utilize those on the N-scale layout, add a few more trees of my own making. These also help out on the uh, bigger trees. So this particular one, the uh, top of this one from about here to about there is one of the uh, end scale size trees. Put those on, gives me a nice point, a nice transition from uh, the rustic wire on up into the uh, top part of the tree where I can uh, make it a little bit more dense, make it look a little bit more uh, realistic. So a lot of fun stuff going on with trees, you know, something that I always enjoy doing. A lot of scenery things and uh, it's something that you know when I have uh, back surgery here in a couple of weeks and I'm uh, off for a while I've got a nice stool I bought that I can sit out here and uh, I can make all kinds of trees I will be a happy forester uh, just something to do as well as doing some of the uh, other fun stuff on the layouts running the trains working on some of those buildings Taking care of the city of Alta. I've got enough to keep me out of mischief for uh, the six to eight weeks that uh, I'm supposed to be laid up. Which hopefully it's not going to be that long because that will drive me absolutely crazy. All right, y'all know me. I'm not going to just wait and let that tree sit. So uh, I came back in with a, uh, my cheap pair of scissors and gave it a haircut. So I cut out a, a lot of material. And I've got a pretty good mess to show for it there, but I'll clean that up later. So coming in and really hacking at it, thinning it, uh, chopping and cutting uh, about uh, at least halfway in on uh, the vegetation that I had glued on gives me a better look. This is still a background tree, but now it looks uh, more like a realistic tree. It's got a good, uh, good load of branches. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, it's nice and thick, uh, so it will kind of help block what's behind it, but uh, still looks on the natural side. And a uh, tree on the right will be uh, more of an upfront, uh, mid distance type tree when I finally get them on. But, uh, you know, it, uh, it looks pretty good. So I'm going to go back into uh, a handful of that same type of tree that I've put in up there and uh, some of the others are uh, about the same. I've got to kind of take some scissors, chop them to get me the results that I'm after, but uh, all in all this is good. So I think this is going to wrap it up for this video. I'm going to sit down, I'm going to actually start to make some more trees and then start getting some other things lined up for uh, some other projects that I can do that are not uh, requiring me to stand for too terribly long. So take care and keep having fun on your layouts.